Hello and welcome to another Revit tutorial. In this video, we're going to be covering one of my favorite things in Revit, keyboard shortcuts. Now, if you want to increase your productivity, uh, speed up your workflow, get familiar with keyboard shortcuts in Revit. They'll save a lot of time because you have one hand for your mouse to navigate and move around the workspace, and your other hand, your left hand or right, is on the keyboard, just pressing command after command. Uh, it's a lot faster workflow. So where can you find keyboard shortcuts? Well, if you're new to Revit or you haven't really gotten into keyboard shortcuts, you may be in the practice of just going up here, navigating the tabs, and just clicking on the buttons that indicate which command you want to activate. Well, if you hold your mouse over each command, you'll notice that it gives you the name of the command and it gives you a couple of uh, letters in parentheses. Those are the keys that you need to press to activate that command as a keyboard shortcut. So I can either click on that command, or I can just press WA for wall, and it'll activate that command. Pretty neat. But you'll also notice on the ribbon, you get to some commands that don't have a keyboard shortcut already set to them, like ceiling. Let's go to a reflected ceiling plan and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm just gonna draw a ceiling real quick and go up to the top, find ceiling on the tab, click, sketch, and I'll just drag a ceiling at eight foot in this shell space. Hit okay, and there it is. Now if I wanna set up my own custom keyboard shortcut for ceiling, you can do that by going up to the big R on the top left, going down to options, going to user interface, and hitting customize under keyboard shortcuts. Or, as per this lesson on getting used to keyboard shortcuts, you can skip all those steps and just press KS on your keyboard. Brings you up to the same screen. Now I wanna find a shortcut for a ceiling, cause I'm tired of having to navigate all the way up to that ribbon and then find it and go through all that. So I'll start typing in ceiling. And you'll notice here there are four, four different commands for ceiling. What I'm looking for is architecture, which indicates the architecture tab at the top. There's a little arrow and then build. Build is the subcategory for that tab. And then contextual tabs, uh, ceiling. And that is the path that Revit reads every time you click on that button. So if I wanna automate that, I'll select that command. New keys for ceiling, I set mine up to CE and then just hit this green plus with the word assign next to it. And you'll see that shortcut show up right here on the list. Click OK. And now instead of going back up here and finding the tab, I can just stay right in my workspace, press CE on the keyboard, and it brings me up to that same menu. Sketch a ceiling and just trace one out. Another useful command, um, if you've already got drawn elements in your workspace, this command is called create similar. It's CS on the keyboard. So select an item that you want to duplicate. Let's say this is two by four light fixture. Press CS. Now you can see over here on your properties, you have that exact same component selected to be placed. So I'll click place on face. It doesn't quite like that gyp ceiling, but you get the idea. Um, so you can set up automatic shortcuts, uh, keyboard shortcuts, really quickly and efficiently. I'll show you one more thing about keyboard shortcuts that I've learned. KS to open that menu again. And then let's say I wanna make one for place detail component. If you're placing a regular 3D component in Revit, the shortcut is CM for component. I've found oftentimes working in drafting views, I wanna place the detail component and there's no quick default command for it. So I've created my own. So let's find that command here. I'll start typing it in. Detail component, it'll be under the annotate tab under the detail subregion, create detail. I'll select that and I want it to be just very easily uh, memorable. I like to use mnemonics. I'll put DC for detail component, hit assign. And I get this error that says, the shortcut DC is currently assigned to the command checked duct systems. Duplicates are not allowed. Um, so what that means is that when you type that command that you just set up, since there's a duplicate, down at the bottom of Revit, it'll tell you 
you'll have to cycle through the commands to get to the one that you actually want. So since I work mostly on the architectural side, I'm not going to be checking the duct systems much. So I can go ahead and remove that shortcut from duct systems. So I'll start typing in that command, check duct systems here. And to remove that shortcut, simply click on the letters that's, that are assigned there and then click this red minus. And it'll go ahead and remove that. And now when I press DC, the only command is to place a detail component like this break line. So I hope that helped. I hope uh, it helps speed up your workflow. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Let me know if you have suggestions for great keyboard shortcuts to set up. And uh, stay tuned for future tips and tricks. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.